Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's talk about the orbit of Mercury. And this is where Mercury is very different from the other planets for a number of reasons. For one, the eccentricity of the orbit is very large, the largest eccentricity of any of the eight planets in the solar system. Notice the eccentricity is 0 0.206. That means the difference between the average distance to the Sun and the distance when it's at perihelion or when it's aphelion is as much as 20.6%. So notice that at the closest approach, Mercury is only 46 million kilometers away from the Sun, and at the farthest distance, it's at 69.8 million kilometers. We can actually calculate the eccentricity using either one of these two equations. Here, the eccentricity is equal to 1 minus the ratio of the distance to perihelion divided by the average distance, and here the eccentricity is equal to the distance to aphelion divided by the average distance minus 1. As an example, I've used the bottom equation where the eccentricity is equal to the distance to aphelion, 69.8 million kilometers, divided by the average distance, 57.9 million kilometers, minus 1, which is equal to 0 0.206. And if you use the other equation, you get the exact same result. What's also unique about the orbit, that it's only 88 days, and that the orbit of, the, of Mercury, the time that it takes Mercury to go around the Sun, is exactly one and a half times the amount of time it takes Mercury to rotate on its axis. And we'll talk a little bit about that at a later video as well. In addition to that, the inclination of the orbit is the largest inclination of any, any planet in the solar system relative to the ecliptic. Now, the ecliptic is formed by the orbit of the Earth going around the Sun, and the orbit of Mercury going around the Sun makes an angle of 7 degrees. So here we have the Earth going around, which forms what we call the ecliptic plane, which is the plane that defines the solar system, and all the other planets are then measured, the orbit is then measured relative to that ecliptic plane. Most of the planets are 3 degrees or less. Matter of fact, all the other planets are either around 3 degrees or less, but Mercury, unusually so, is at an angle of 7 degrees. Now, one more thing about the orbit is the precession of the orbit. Notice that right now we've drawn it like this, but as Mercury go goes around the Sun every, every 88 days, this slowly tends to rotate around, and you can see that aphelion rotates at a particular rate. It's a very, very slow rate. It's barely measurable, but we can actually measure that, and we can also predict it from the laws of physics. We'll show you in a later video how that is done. But as we mentioned before, the rate at which the aphelion slowly moves around the sun, and of course the per perihelion as well, is not quite exactly the way it's predicted. There's a slight, slight amount of difference. And finally, we figured out why that difference is there. It's actually caused by the theory of relativity. The theory of relativity tells us that the bending of space, because the sun being in the middle of our solar system, causes a warping of space, which causes the... the change of the position of the perihelion and the, and the aphelion, what we call the precession motion of, of the orbit of the planet, of the planet Mercury, it caused that precession to be a little bit faster than we expect it to be. And that's caused by the special theory of relativity. Not the special, the general theory of relativity. So we'll get into that in a little bit more detail as well. So you can see that as far as the orbit is concerned, Mercury is a very unusual planet very different in almost every respect of its orbit. And so this is what we know about the orbit, and we'll compare that later to the other planets to see why it's so special in the case of Mercury. 